today on Camilla Scott. By going to the store or buy a newspaper, even if I don't have any money, I have to look at my horoscope. Our life is what we believe. Why don't you stop looking at the stars and start looking to your hearts? Most of us love to read our horoscopes in the paper. Some of us may have even consulted a psychic on occasion. But my guests today say that their friends are taking things too far. They live their lives based on what psychics or the stars tell them. Some even say they are psychic themselves. My guests say it is time for their cosmic friends to take back control of their lives. And they have brought them here to say, stop letting the stars rule your life. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Today my guests say their friends are obsessed with psychics and astrologers. They want them to stop consulting the stars and come down to Earth. Joining us today to advise some of my guests is someone who knows a little thing or two about the stars herself. Please welcome world-renowned astrologer Jojo Samar. <laughs> much for coming again. Everybody loves you so much and we love, love having you here. You. I love you. <laughs> now, Jojo, the show today is about people who take the psychic thing maybe a little bit too far. Do you think that's possible? Yeah. Anything in life, uh, if you don't have the control and if you lose the power of it, you see astrology, psychic phenomena, tarot cards, all these things are great for the soul. They're supposed to empower you. But like anything else in the world, good stuff, you have to be the boss of it. When it becomes the boss of you, it could become a problem. And today we'll solve the problem. Excellent. That's why you're <laughs> here. Example, if, if I meet this guy and I really like him, if he's a Leo, there's absolutely no way I'll date him. Absolutely not. I'm a Scorpio. Jojo, is that a good thing? Well, it's funny well, because... I'm a Scorpio and I no, just... No, it makes... It, it, in a way, I could see her. First of all, she has a lot of blue in aura, okay? So I think it's a, it's a girl that is very much already very spiritual and she's more logical and practical. So although she, I agree with the mother that she... that uh, maybe... I think she's investigating at this moment and we sometimes do extreme things in order to find some answers. And what she's trying to do is just try to, eventually she'll balance, and balance, balance, and, uh, balance out. Eventually, if she especially helps to pay the bill, she'll be able to focus and direct the energy well, herself. No, help. She pays it. Oh well, if she her. pays it, I it's would be very bill. surprised yeah. that after a while. That's good, that's good. You know what's wonderful? It's because in a way, she, today we live in a society there's many things that we don't have any answers. So we're trying to get help in some way and she's trying to get guidance. But, but are, what, are, are all the readings very like positive usually or do they give you a tool in order to really make your, your life better 100%? Um, well, no, see that not all of them have been like that. Most, a lot of them have honestly, like the last phone bill was almost $250. And it wasn't worth the $250. Was it like, oh, I, I, would, I would have felt a lot better just going and sitting in front of somebody okay. and actually getting a reading done for Because you know what, people like you normally, what I suggest is that you get yourself a, a, a psychic line or a psychic service that you get involved in a relationship with one or two psychics, you know, particular, very, very genuine, that you could have a relationship that you won't have to call regularly. You could call like once a month or you could call once every two months. And by reading maybe even some astrology book or I stuff do. like that, you'll still be in control. The key is that you have to always remember that you gotta be the boss of your destiny. Yeah. And this has to be tools. Jojo, exactly. no. what about the fact exactly. 
that it upsets her when she doesn't get a good reading. Should, should we be able to let that go? And yeah, just... you have to. First of all, nobody's perfect. Not even psychics are perfect. There's no doctor, no lawyer, no judges, nobody in the universe who's perfect. But it's fun to do shopping, though. Then eventually you find somebody where you get positivity. If you don't get positivity, you should not be doing with that service at all. Yeah. It's, if it's not a tool to make you happy, you should just drop it. Because some people out there, no, because everybody has different needs. Some yeah. people need food. Some people need drink. Some people need reading. Some people, they are dancing every Actually, day. You know what? That's yeah. what I think. I think that, no, hold on. I think that everybody believes in a higher power, whether it be God or Jesus or Buddha or whatever it is. Everybody always needs something to believe in. And there's not one person in this world that I don't think doesn't believe in a higher power. This yeah. just happens to be mine. Yeah. No, because you're more spiritual being and you're trying to get answers and I understand exactly because I'm a little bit like you. The only thing again, always make sure it doesn't get out of hand and you make choices in life and you're capable of controlling the situation that you could use this as a weather forecast and you say it's gonna rain, it's gonna be snowy, it's gonna be cold and then even eventually adjust the energy towards this. But try to be more and more uh, using your own will. Make sure that whatever Whatever information you get, if it's not positive, first of all, eliminate it. Mm -hmm. And if it is positive, use this as a tool in order to achieve your goals. But you have to be the boss at all times. Yeah. Suzanne, and, yes. hang on. Why did you bring I'm Jennifer here today? I take it too far. Do you think it's a problem? I don't think it's a problem at all. He thinks it's a problem. Daryl? <laughs> oh, I think it's a big problem because there's just too many answers she goes to that to look for. Jojo, what do you think? Well, I think I see here op opposition. May I know your sign, just for curiosity? I'm a Leo. Okay, yeah, Aquarius, right? Okay, that means, you see, he, it's the same situation. If you notice here, the intuitive one, the more soul-concerned one, is much more attracted to these things and the more logical one. Although it's strange because he's very intuitive too, except he doesn't want to admit it. But the, here, it's a question of power here. There's true, you know, true love, it means unconditional. So you could see her, she's an intuitive, she, she, she could do what I could do. She, she is born psychic, okay? So actually when she uses psychic phenomena, she's connecting with other psychic to increase her own psychic ability. And she probably wouldn't even need it. For a while she could probably need some people like that, but for, she could be herself her own psychic. So if you love her, the whole key is uh, in life, it's not because something that you don't understand, you condemned it. That's a big, big disease of our society today. I think what's important is to love her a lot and get interested into it because you're super smart. <laughs> You're very intuitive, and by she can help you in your own life too in a certain way. She has a gift of psychic ability, and if you love each other, you could share everything together, and you could become richer together. And to love everything and to open your mind is also fun. Okay, okay? exactly. For we got Jojo. a question, but I, uh, you had said that you thought maybe a lot of psychics uh, prey on vulnerable people. I think they do. And you think like your friend Christine. Now, Jojo. Do you agree that there are people out there like that? There are, like anything else in the world, in anything, any field, you will have people who become more uh, dependent than anything else. It could be drinking, it could be food, it could be love, it could be relationship, even with mothers, fathers, you don't do nothing without your mother saying, yes, do it, or you, you, so we all need advice, we're all looking for answers. I believe personally that we, our life is what we believe. So your belief system will create the reality that you do. So of course, everybody's searching for maybe things to look at life in a higher sense. And I think we are souls in a, in a body. And the soul potential, I think, is infinite. And I think it's just, if it's well uh, taken seriously with a real psychic that you get a real relationship with on the positive sense, because the whole key is it has to be a happy tool that gives you power in order to control your destiny. That's the point. If it becomes a dependency that you can do without it, it's not good. Her, she's also, I believe truly, the kind of aura she has with the white in my, in my my perception, what I perceive is somebody, she's genuinely does connection with her mother. The fact that she was talking about that she should uh, look for a guy with the same uh, uh, certain description. description, that's a little bit far-fetched in my I opinion. I think it's better at that point to let it be, check it out. If you want to know if it's true or not, first of all, the psychic should go in the past and if they're good, that means they're really great, that means the right brain is well developed and you have a connection. Because when you call a psychic line, you're supposed to connect the psychic to psyche, soul to soul so you forget about the body and the soul controls the, the body therefore it gives you power so I think this is where the, where the, the boyfriend Listen to what they say, check it out. If it happens, you'll know if this person is good or not. But investigate a lot. Like you go okay. see many doctors, many lawyers. We, we have a question for you. Yes, sir. Anybody on the panel, do you find it hard to believe some of these psychics when you hear about so many frauds in the companies? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, that's what I, I was just going to say, but Jojo, you didn't really answer okay. Camilla's question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there are psychics out there with lines that are just out there to suck people dry? I think everything, there's a business part in every service in the world. There are some good service, they're not so, such good service, a service where would like more money oriented, and the services we're trying to provide a real service to help people. But you have to take it for what it is. You know, if you're not having a private consultation at $300 with a, with a doctor, it's like if I call a doctor that is a pre-recorded in a hospital, I'm not going to get the same service. But you have to get back your own willpower. Okay. Anything that could help you to make it is good, but if you become like you say a sucker and you just become dependent to it it's not healthy it's not good not even for the line because okay. they're not going to call Roro, back you big fan of jojo's i love jojo <laughs> <laughs> jojo do you see some psychic ability over there at the other end of the of the line yeah, you have spoken. What I feel here, you see, it's always again the same situation. We have to live in a time where we have to learn to respect people's choices in life and set system of belief. And your perception is your reality. So obviously, you have people here who don't perceive life the same way. She has, she probably does have some psychic abilities. The only thing I'll give you a little secret: any psychic does not conduct the psychic ability into love, positivity, and channeling that energy in a loving situation. You could do more harm than good. So what I would advise her, although she does have some psychic ability, to always make sure if it's negative, it has to be used as a prevention with loving because it's going to go against you eventually. It's very, very important. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, this is for all of you that um, are looking to psychic hotlines for something to believe in. Um, why don't you stop looking at the stars and start looking to your hearts? <laughs> oh, go ahead, Jojo. I say... <laughs> I agree with you. I like what he said because I believe that the heart is to man what the sun is to the galaxy, what the God is to the universe, and it's all interconnected. And that's exactly why if you follow your heart, you follow your intuition, intuition is the soul, and the soul gives you power to make your life a success. Yes, sir. Jojo, I, what, do you, what do you think? I, you know, it's like she said something so extraordinary. Your life is what you believe. You, you see, your, your belief system, you believe in the religion, you believe that your mother is right, you believe your father is right, you believe in that doctor that whatever it is you see what it is is that we have to come in life that we get to respect somebody else's system of belief so you have a very rational person who does not believe but does not want to open up her heart in order to also accept and maybe learn something from the other one according to me she has very good balance between reason and intuition and we should you should learn from her rather than just like block it because you don't believe it you should not block it and condemn it I think love is the answer into here and it's always going to be differences there's always going to be two sides of things in life there's up there's down there's black there's white there's day there's night but we have to keep the coolness in the middle and learn to love each other and listen to, to each other's beliefs and respect the other one's belief because if we don't do that we're not going to succeed in anything else okay right. we have a question yes sir um, i was wondering at what age you started feeling your psychic abilities at pardon me what age did you start feeling your psychic abilities? Since I was little, I was born. It started with pr the prediction of my brother, unfortunately, that was killed by a train. It was not a very good prediction, but I, I told my mother, and three days after, he was. So it started. It was a very, very heavy experience because in my days, you know, like I'm 40 years old, so it was not accepted. And being brought Catholic religion, I was looked upon like white hair, weirdo, seeing auras. So it was a very, very hard journey. But I could assure you that now I'm there to help people to develop those kind of capabilities to help their, to help their lives and to become uh, more in peace and happy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have a two-part question. Um, the first is for Jojo. How can you tell if you have uh, a bad psychic, like she's not telling you the truth. Any psychic, and it's important you say that because there's a lot of like any, there's all kind of products on the market and you have choices. Like you, well, and what's they, a good warning sign? A though? good warning, no negativity. And first of all, check the past. If they could tell you your past, they could tell you your future. Okay, and that's if, you, if they come and they have any form of racism or false belief or judgmental and they're trying to tell you what to do and they take away the power from you, if they're not there as a guide to help you and fulfill your life and give you a boost like the weather forecast, or I don't, don't feel like them. I'm obsessed. It's just something that I believe in, something that I have, uh, that I feel that 
that I, I, I like it a lot. Our and okay. interest. Yes, ma'am. You see your perception is important to, oh, to open on. up your mind? It's perception. You respect people's perception. They believe in certain things. We love them in their own beliefs. If we don't love each other, where are we going to go in this world? No. Where will peace will happen? Yes, ma'am. I just want to say that I believe in psychics. And I also believe that everybody has it inside of them. Yeah. And I was wondering if you see anything for me, like... Okay. <laughs> no, I like Nothing bad. I know you won't say anything bad. No, no, no. Never bad <laughs> because we're not going to make the world go round. Positivity and love is the key to everything. And the real psychic is supposed to have wings of love and joy. What sign are you? May I have your date of birth? I'm a Libra. October 15th, okay. 1980. Yes, I'm only six years old. 1962? No, 1980. 80. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> you know, psychics, we Doesn't don't have... <laughs> she looks great. <laughs> okay, she's a monkey and she's a Libra. Uh, okay. For sure. That's cute. Now, because in Chinese horoscope, I do everything. I do Mayan astrology. I'm a maniac. You know, like okay, we have to go quick, Jojo, because I want to get okay. you more questions. She, uh, one of the things for sure, 97, she will absolutely adore 97 because she claimed she didn't like too much. I think the end of 95 and 96, she went through a big crossing of a bridge of big, big emotional things. You will have the reward of this in 97. You're just getting close to it. My birthday yes, is March 29th, 1969. You're Could March you? 29, 1969. So yeah. you're a rooster in Chinese horoscope, a natural leader. Okay. And 29, uh, 911. So you have psychic ability. Mm -hmm. it, you're an Aries. Right. Oh my. You have a Saturn transit right now. Uh, you're cleaning up stuff right now. You're off. Oh, you're both in your personal ambition and also professional ambition. You're going through. It could never be the way it was before last year. It's like you, you're dealing with restructuring absolutely everything. Where you are good right now in December mm -hmm. and, and January in 97 is financial. I would concentrate more on the uh, personal ambition of what you're trying to su succeed rather than personal stuff. Thank you, Jojo. Sense? We'll be right back. <laughs> for being here today and a very special thanks to world-renowned astrologer Jojo Whoa. and Cookie. Cookie. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you <laughs> Psychics and astrology may help you gain more insight into yourself, but they should never rule your life. You are ultimately in control. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Brush your hair. Bye-bye. <laughs>